Hey guys, welcome back to your YouTube channel where we learn everything about VBA. I know I have been away from this channel for like a month or so. Uh, that is because I was out of station due to some personal work. But now I am back and we are going to come up with a lot of exciting videos. So stay tuned. Today we are going to learn about how we can make headers dynamic. So with the help of VBA. So if you have ever tried, you know, uh, making the uh, dynamic with connecting some cell, you would be knowing it's not possible without the help of VBA. So today, let's see how we can do it. Coming up. Before moving on to our today's topic, if you are new on this channel and want to learn everything about VBA, we come up with a new video every week on this channel. So consider subscribing. Looking at my screen now, uh, as you can see, we are going to perform three actions with VBA. First one is we want left header on the left hand side. What does that mean is if you click on page layout and click this arrow, which is below print tiles and click on header slash footer. From here, you can change header or footer, right? Right now, as you can see, I have it connected or to cell B2. I'll change it to none, right? And if I go to custom header, you can see I have three options. I can keep the header on the left of the page or on the center of the page or on the right of the page. For this demo, we are going to do it on the left of the page but you can do it anywhere you want. Next option, next action that we are going to do is it should be linked to cell B2 of each sheet. So basically I want headers dynamic in this workbook. That's why I want to connect it with cell B2. If you have your headers in any other cell, you can connect with that cell. Another thing is it should be visible when the user prints, right? I'll tell you what this means once we do the first two steps. Moving on to my VBA editor. You have to click on this workbook, which is your workbook and click on workbook. And by default, it will be workbook open, but we don't want this macro to run when the workbook opens. We want this macro to work when uh, somebody is trying to print the sheet so that the headers can update. So there is an option known as before print here. So you have to select that, right? And you can delete this workbook open section. Now what we need here is very simple for each worksheet in me.worksheets. You can also write active workbook dot worksheets but me refers to active workbook so this is a shorter way of writing this and i'm writing next worksheet so before that i want to set the page so this is the loop created of all the worksheets in the workbook and now i'll set up the page area so as you saw i already have the code i'll just copy paste and explain it to you right so it's very simple one liner code you just have to write worksheet dot page setup right then left header if you want to keep your header on the left side or center header or right header if you want it as per your requirement you can change this then i have connected it with cell b2 of the worksheet so right so for each worksheet the header will be with whatever value is available in cell b2 you can also write something static if you want. Let's say on each page I want like learn VBA should be written at the top. So you can write like this also. But because we want to make it dynamic, I have written like this. As you saw, this is very simple code, one liner or you can say three liner code. 
now we will see if it's working or not so as you can see right now in my print preview it is not coming there is no header right now okay so how we will get the header that is the third point as i said and i'll show you how now so there is a command which is hidden so you have to click on this arrow button go to more commands then not it's not a popular command so go to commands not in ribbon and there in you can click on p button and there is an option which is saying print and print preview full screen right so this as you can see i already have it added and this is the symbol of it so i'm using this if you don't have it already on your right hand side you can click on this and click add so it will be added but because i already have it it is not adding right so when i'll click on this print preview which is print preview full screen you would see i will get the header now this is taking some time because i have like 50 50 worksheets in this file so you can see now i have the header here i can close the print preview from here and let's say i am writing something extra here let's say i want it with today's date right so i'll have to also add text format right and now we will see if today's date is coming in the print preview or not so this way you can make headers or footers dynamic using just two three lines code right so you can see now i have the date uh, as a header or part of the header right so that's it for today's video i hope you are now able to make headers dynamic with the help of vba if not let me know your questions in the comments and if you like the video press the like button subscribe and hit the bell icon if you haven't done that yet i'll see you next week bye bye